everybody. Welcome back to the adventures of Tardy Penis and Juanathan and Serana. There she is. Oh, didn't mean to hit that. So, last episode was <laughs> a bit disheartening. I'll be real with you. And I feel bad, honestly. But we cannot. We just can't. We can't do anything. So, for now, we're going to take a step back. We're going to look in our journal. We're just going to do some some cool, fun, you know, little quests. We're going to take it easy, take it slow. Nothing world shattering prophecy BS. Just just, uh, you know, just looking for looking for some stuff. Immaculate Dormant Helmet for her. Is this something that's marked on the map? It is. So it's in the Forgotten Ruins. Let's do this. First thing on the bottom of our list, you know? Let's try it. We'll fast travel to... Oh, no, that's a Forsworn camp. Actually, this will probably be quicker. Oh, why am I underwater? It sounded like... That was weird. So... Where is our... Rocks. Yeah, just rocks? <laughs> Okay. All right. So it's over there. It's past the mine here, which doesn't seem possible. We might have to go all the way around this mountain. This is a quaint little, little town outside this mine, huh? And I don't think I can scale this. It looks too steep, but we shall try. Nope. I've already fucked it. Let's see here. Oh, we can kind of... Ah, uh, there we go. There's the edge that I was looking for. Okay, well, let's go around, shall we? I want to just kind of take it slow this episode. Nothing... Nothing too important. Just want to... Just want to clear out my journal a bit without having all the freaking quest markers everywhere. So is this it? This looks like it. This does indeed look like the way. There's a cave up ahead. And I don't know what that symbol is, I'll be honest. There is the ruins marker. But I don't know if it's further up. Seems to be further up or around. So let's keep going around this mountain. Oh, there's a mud crab. Hello, sir. Oh, you almost got me. Oh. Oh, -ho. take your crab meat. All right. I'll see you when I get there. Halt, Outlander. Oh. By the code of Malakath, this stronghold belongs to the orcs. Your kind are unwelcome. Uh, I'm just a traveler. What is this, this place? This is our stronghold. Here we are free to live as Malakath intended, away from the prying eyes of the Nords. You are not an orc, our blood king, so stay out. We only help our own. Okay. Am I dying? Am I dead? Vampires? Holy shit. Ow. Are they vampires? No. Oh, yeah, they are. Jesus Christ, my guy. They're getting bullied by... Something. Was that Wanathan? Bitch, stop dodge rolling. Jesus. God damn, finally. Okay. Well, that kind of came out of nowhere. Let's see, did I need anything? Not from you. 
I'll take that just cuz. Oh, the goat. Oh, the goat's alive. Serana's goat? What? You summoned a goat? Whatever. Did I discover that place at least? I did. Maybe I can come back and talk. Well, let me talk to him before I forget what the fuck's going on. They said I can't enter. And the dude is gone. Oh, well. I won't disturb them for now. But if somebody comments on a video saying, yo, that place is actually sick, then I'll go back and check it out. <laughs> Okay, well, this place looks cool. Oh, I broke the animation. Forgotten ruins. So. I think it might be in here. I don't know. Let me just go inside and check. Ah, yes. Okay, it is in here. Forgotten Ruins, cool. Now, I do believe that this quest is just a, like, random missive quest. I could be wrong. This is, a uh, something, huh? Hello? That's close enough. Who are you? Oh, it's this girl. I'm Tardy Penis, I got your letter, like, fucking ages ago. Like, literally, lifetimes ago. Oh, it's you. I'm so glad you're here. Look, I don't know how much time we have left. My brother went down this shaft a few days ago, and I'm worried. I need you to go in after him and bring him back to me alive. It could that be dangerous, doesn't stop you from working, though, if huh? If anyone can do it, it's you. Now, are you ready? I didn't come here to help you. Duh. Uh, I have some questions. All right, but please hurry. Who are you? My name's Cassia. My brother and I came to Skyrim from Cyrodiil with the Imperial Legion, but we took a break to explore these ruins. So you're both deserters. We didn't want to get involved in this stupid war in the first place. Okay, calm we down. We came here because we were conscripted. But our unit was That's by fair. the Nords and those forsworn savages. And we saw a chance to get away from the fight. <laughs> She's not having it. <laughs> so we took Oh, it. okay. You get to do that now. Thank you, Serana. <laughs> so helpful. <laughs> Uh, what exactly happened here? Why haven't you gone down there? Why did you send me of all people? Why did you send for me of all people? I was in Markarth looking for help when I heard people talking about you and all the Really? I've never even been to Markarth. To Skyrim. I figured you'd be interested in exploring these ruins, so I asked a courier to track you down. And here you are. Huh. Okay, well, I guess that explains it. She just heard our name through the grapevine. She was just like, hey... This penis guy sounds pretty fucking good, so we should, uh, have him do it. What exactly happened here? Well, we here? came here hoping to find something valuable to pay for carriage back to Cyrodiil. Altrius went down the shaft, but he asked me to stay here. Uh, why haven't you gone down because there? Because he made me promise I'd stay here and wait for him no matter what. And I keep my promises. Well, except as far as the <laughs> is concerned. Okay, fair enough. That's all the questions I had. So you're ready to go now? I'm ready. I knew I could count on you. Now quickly, go. Okay, well let me just, let me give it a try. See if I can dig some stuff up. And I did, I got a couple fragments. Cool, cool. Alrighty, is this a book? Read Dusty Journal. I can't actually take it, funny enough. Is this where I need to go? I don't think so. Is it? Do I just need to jump down there? Dead skeever. Uh, ooh. 
Okay, well, they went down there, so I guess it's my turn. Enter the Forgotten City. Explore the Forgotten City for a way out. Okay, well... Looks like we got a bit of a situation on our hands. Didn't know this was a one-way trip. I mean, obviously, when I jumped down there, I figured it was a one-way trip, but... Not the thing as a whole. Holy hell. This really is a forgotten city, huh? Don't like that, none. Don't like that, none. Did the old man's suicide note? Where the hell is the old man's suicide note? It says it's back here. Burnt corpse? No. Another burnt corpse? No. I am actually going to save the game real quick and then take on this automaton. See if I can get a sneak attack. Oh, it's not actually alive. Oh. Okay. Well that that that's cool. I don't mind that. Burnt corpse. Where is this guy's suicide note? That's what I'm looking for right now. Let's actually... Now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, we don't need these. Okay, here we go. Optional, read the man's suicide note. Custom destination. Let's uh, go back to the world map. Remove that, because that's just annoying. And then where's the man's suicide note? I do not see a note of a man who unalived himself. Oh well, it was an optional objective anyway. There's still some boots here. This place doesn't look abandoned quickly. Interesting. Now it says, oh, there's a skeever. Yep, sure will. Oh, there's the... Is this a notice? Warning, this area is not safe into your own risk. Yarl, eh? Well... We gotta go in. Gotta squeeze my penis through those door- those slats of wood. Alright. Y'all ready? Oh, I didn't like that. And that's why. Well. If I stand on this thing, it opens up for some reason. And then it closes. So I don't rightly know what that is. And this didn't... It's just straight up closed off the path. It didn't, uh... Open up another one. Let me check the thing here. Yeah. I think I might have to find another way in. It seems. I'll uh, go around to the left here. Maybe there's another way in. Another skeever. Oh. This isn't a door. Okay. Fair enough. I'm going to just check all these. I'll take the lavender. Check all these doors for something, maybe. Maybe it's around the other side here. Doesn't look like it. Which is unfortunate. Enter Citadel. Um... Yeah, we got we got time. <laughs> We're just looking for her brother. No no rush, you know. I was in your shoes once. Okay. A lifetime ago. I remember the way the lake house calls to you. Who the fuck is talking? Is 
The lake house? I don't even know what lake house you're talking about, bro. Hello? Songs of Skyrim revised. I need that from the museum. Cool. Cabbage. Okay. Just some burnt people. Skooma. Let's go, dude. There's some coins. Some valuables. Okay. I don't know what the hell that creepy voice was. Why did the lights suddenly turn on and there's noises happening? I don't know what the hell's going on, dude. I thought to myself, do I want to die in here alone? Is it like motion sensitive lights turning on? And this guy's creeping me the it fuck seems out. Like a simple choice. And yet, in the end, death was the better option all along. Okay, well I do not want to die. Hello, sir. Okay, just checking. Just checking. Doing a little dig tap to check. You know how it be. Okay, this seems to just be like a hotel, maybe <laughs> like rooms upon rooms. Master chest, eh? Here we fucking go. Rip. Gotcha. Cool. 64. And that was not worth it. Second letter. Okay. Um. Hmm. Imperial bracers. Nothing really of note there. I'm gonna have to check every fucking one of these doors. Oh no, that's... No! <laughs> I didn't want to go to the loading zone. Holy shit. Ain't this cool though. Thinking that purple door has something to do with something. But for now... I think we go back into the city, though. Okay. Anything in this door? Just a potion. Okay, moving along. Now this door was already open. This looks like a kitchen almost. Those oh those are knives. Thought those were lock picks. Yeah, I think this was like a hotel or something. Ah. Can you take me high? Oh, hello. Hello Mal. A presence. Hmm. Black robes. Then another unsent letter. Hey, all of these letters that I can read but I can't pick up. I'm fine with that. I got tons of letters already. Let's see here. Uh, Wanathan, your brother's running at me. Who dares disturb I hid that key for a no. reason. Well. Okay. <laughs> good, good fight. Good boss fight. Baths. Cool. Now he said he had a key. I'm assuming it's somewhere around here. Citizen arrival log. Okay. Another master chest. Okay, got it. 35 lockpicks. 
Fuck yeah, totally worth it. Holy hell. Dwarven ball. Some scrap metal. Fine fur clothes. Interesting. Oh, uh, here we go. Big ass soul gem, soul trap. Read twin secrets, enchanting. Cool. Not the dwarven helmet I'm looking for. Ruined book I'll take. Ruined book I'll take. Dwarven metal ingot. I'll take that. Ruined book. Good to go. Okay, well, that goes to the Forgotten City. Let's check out and see if I can even open this fucking door. Requires key. Thought so. Now, was that ghost supposed to drop a key? I'm unfamiliar. But for now, let's go check out that purple glowing door. The one that he said he locked. Maybe, um... Uh, Oh shit. We There's the lake house. Yeah, that does look like a purple glowing. Yeah, it requires key. I don't know why I got a thing for that. Let's check out the journal here. It says, read the old man's suicide note or an explorer to find a way out. Okay. I wonder if that ghost was supposed to have a key on him and he just despawned immediately and fucked me. That would be on brand. Is that Wanathan over there? You okay, bud? Let's check down here, see if there's anything. Are those fish? Those are fish. Single fish. Iron mace. Another master chest. Holy shit, dude. Got it. Dwarven bow of shock blasts. Hmm. 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 Okay. Well, herein lies the problem. I might, oh, there's a thing of hay back here. I have to Google, do a quick Goog to find out what the hell to do. I'm gonna check down here first though. So. If there's anything else in the water. Oh, sunken house. Okay, interesting. Something of note, at least. Maybe in here? Or maybe not. <laughs> Why is this a thing I can do if there's nothing in here? Okay, anyway. Let's see here. Another chest. Okay, nothing really of note. Okay, so... Haven't checked all the doors. I don't know where this man's suicide note is. It's not on his body. Oh, okay. I can use this tanning rack. That door doesn't work. Okay, then. Uh, I think those are the only places I haven't checked. Those three doors. And then after that, it's time for a Google search, I think. No, nothing. No, nothing. I thought that was a note. No. 
Another skeever. Hello, sir. Okay. Still nothing of note here, huh? There's another skeever. Follow the skeevers, I guess. They'll probably know a way out of this place. Let's see if this is an actual abandoned palace. Okay. Let's see if there's anything of worth in here. Looks like a bunch of coffins. Yeah, that's not fun. Can I open this door? Seems I cannot open this door. Well, uh, yep. Time for a Google search. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now, cool thing about this is I did not know this was a mod. <laughs> Apparently it's a mod. And God damn it, if that's just not the best fucking feeling ever, it's just thinking you're in a vanilla quest and then all of a sudden, oh, this is actually a mod. Fantastic job. <laughs> that's always what I want to see. Now, I think... Empty wine bottle. It said that there's an inkwell here. Now it said that it he his suicide note is like right here somewhere, but I don't see it. Um, basically, it talks about how this guy is trying to leave and he can't leave, and so he offs himself, which sucks. And then you're supposed to come up here. And we already fought his ghost, so there's that. And the key is actually on the balcony, so I need to go there and do that. Okay, so we're supposed to ex exit to this balcony, and there it is. I completely missed it. Whoop. Like, <sighs> okay, ow. What happened to my moon shoes? Cool. Let's go to the lake house. And this is as far as I've gotten. Lake house requires key. Let's go, baby. Easy peasy. Okay. Note. Seven years ago, I discovered this wonderful city uninhabited. Others soon followed, heeding my invitation. Uh, and our community grew and prospered under my rule. But as I write this, I am alone once again. My For my subjects have been the victim of an unspeakable atrocity. This is why, at the expense of my own life, I must open a portal that will take you to the past. Uh, before all this began, beloved reader, you must go back, investigate what this... So what set this atrocity in motion and prevent it by any means necessary. I will take all these ruined books and soul gem fragments. Thank you very much. Another master chest. Holy shit. Oh, I unlocked it with the key. Oh, fucking sick. I'll take all that. Okay, cool. Yeah, you writing a letter? She writing a letter. The hell is that? Looks cool. Oh, well, okay. Open strange door. Well. 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 Forget me not. Hello. 
find your way back to the original timeline. Holy shit. Oh, and look, all these places are open now. Cool. Let me check the journal. That's fine. Find a way back to your original timeline. Hmm. I see the lake house is still, or that house is still underwater. You Where did you come from? I just arrived. Strange. It looks like you just came out of the Yarl's private lake house. I did. There's a time portal in there, which brought me back from the future. Uh, I got lost, dude. Yeah, well, just make sure you don't get lost in anyone else's home. Live by our laws here, and we'll all get along just fine. Fair enough. Your laws? Don't hurt anyone. Don't steal anything. Same as anywhere else. Only the punishment here is much, much worse. The Jarl can tell you more and help you get settled in. Might even have some quarters for you. I can take you to him if you like. Uh, sure. Follow me. So, this is our farmland where we grow all the food you'll ever want. As long as all you ever want is leek, cabbage, and potato. If potato. you have goods, the merchants at the market up ahead will be happy to see you. Most of us have few belongings. Just what we brought in with us. Morning, Gulvar. Morning, Ismar. Above us is the sun under the ground. It's strange and no substitute for the real sun, of course, huh. but these days it doesn't bother me. What bothers me is the Citadel folk. Take Jormund, for example, standing up there on his balcony looking down on us. Just look at him. Yeah, Jormund, you're a really big man, aren't you? <laughs> Milk drinker. Hey, what's wrong with drinking milk, bro? Come on now. I'm also a milk Aren't drinker. Are you going to introduce me to your strapping new friend, Galvar? We're on our way to see the yard. There'll be time for you to get your claws into our friend here later. I look forward to it. You should come for a drink. You got claws too, bro. Sentinel tonight. Just about everyone's there after dark. Be careful with Rastasia. She. Well. It's not my place to say. You slut shaming her, bro? In this place That's it cool. Is. It's a small city after all. Only 24 of us at the moment. 23 if you don't come around us. Who's halfway to the next life. Luke is barely managing to keep him alive. Hmm. Hello, sir. I trust you're on your way to speak with the Jarl. Uh, yep, sure am. Bye. Into the Citadel. Maybe? Enter, please? Okay, there we go. This is the Citadel, where the Jarl and his guests if you manage to worm your way in with them, you Why might get a dead goat. Too. Hello. Gulva, what do you think you're doing? You're meant to be working the Owl's farm, not trudging dirt into his citadel. Sure, man, take it easy, would you? I was just showing our new friend here to the Jarl. Well, how about you get back to work, and I take our new friend the rest of the way? If you don't work, none of us eat, Gulver. Remember that. How could I forget? Fine, I'll get back to work. It was nice meeting you, my friend. Let's yeah, good meeting you too. Chat anytime you like. I'm sorry about that. That probably sounded a bit harsh, but it's my job to make sure we all have enough to eat. I'm Yormund. Let's head up to the next floor then, shall we? Stay close behind me. Wouldn't want you getting lost now, would we? I am close behind you. It's good to see a new face here. Haven't had any new arrivals in a while. Since Marius. But he mostly keeps to himself. 
Bit secretive, actually. Most people are pretty friendly, though. And so they should be. This is the closest you'll get to Sovereign Guard in all of Tamriel. No crime, no conflict. Most folk don't even bother locking the doors. That's even good to know. Steal something without breaking the walls <laughs> law. It's not as if you could sell it to anyone here. True. Sure, your fencing operation is very limited. Am I gonna have to follow you up all these stairs? All f fucking four floors? Hello, ma'am. Oh, welcome. I'm Gaia. Do come and say hello when you're free. Always got her nose buried in a book, that one. Helps out Brawl down in the city. Our resident expert about the history and laws of the Dwemer. Last I heard, they were trying to track down some dwarven artifacts. You should ask Brawl about it, if you're into that sort of thing. This is the Citadel Kitchen. Remember to be polite to our cooker Sanchi. She does the best with what she has, which isn't much. I knew that was the kitchen. Now let's head up to the Yarl's floor. The Yarl has his own floor. That's insane. That makes sense. There's right. some steam coming off that wall. There's a couple of things you should know about him if you want to make a good impression. First, he was the first one here. Well, he was here before the rest of us anyway. So the Citadel is his, and where are all his guests? Second, he's very protective of this place and won't tolerate anyone disturbing the peace. So be on your best behavior, and you should be fine. Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm just a little... Little penis from the future. From the future! He doesn't care. Anyway. Just waiting on him. Waiting on the man. I'm assuming that's the Jarl. This is the top of the Citadel. The bathhouse is off limits, and I'm not even sure what's behind the gold door. Oh, the Jarl has ever gone in there. Really? Interesting. Who are you, Sato? Is there anything I should know? Anything else? All right, you're on your own from here. Okay, that's what I thought. I've got to supervise. Good luck with the Yarl, and I'll see you around. You got it, bud. There's a face I don't recognize. Welcome to my city. I'm Yarl Metellus. Tell me, what is your name? My name is Tardy Penis. It's always exciting to meet a new member of our small community. Now, before I forget, since you're here for good, you'll need some quarters. Here's a key to the last vacant chambers down in the city, between Paul cool. and Luki. It's all yours. Now tell me, what brings you to my city? Oh, please don't push him off the fucking cliff, Serana. That'd be nice if you didn't do that. Holy shit. Actually, you sent me here from the future. Oh my god, bitch. You were fucking... You were making me scream inside. Uh, <laughs> you sent me here from the future to save this city. I sent you here. I... I'm not Oh, sure please stop moving mean. back. Here's the letter you will write shortly after the city is destroyed. Well, let's see. This is my handwriting. The victims of an unspeakable atrocity. I will open a portal that will take you into the past. You must go back. Gotta this, get back. Back to the past, real, Samurai Jack. I've even toyed with the idea of creating a portal between two points in time, with Brawl's help. But that's odd. My letter makes no mention of what caused the disaster. I suppose I was in a hurry. So tell me, what's going to happen to us? I don't know. But it was dark and there was a burnt corpses everywhere. That's exactly what I saw when I first discovered this place several years ago. It seems whatever happened then is going to happen again. Mm, I wonder I if it has, it has to do with the fucking sun. Oh no. Bad. 
This is very, very bad. Yeah, I'd say so. The Dwarves' Law? Yes. You see, the Dwarves who built this place left inscriptions. Brawl hasn't been able to fully translate. Dude, this man is living on the edge literally. Holy some shit. Parts. This warning keeps coming up. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. We think that breaking the law here will cause some kind of event. The truth is, I've used the dwarves' law to frighten my people into obedience. And it's worked so far. But someone's about to break that law. Let me think. Hmm. Your arrival here is exactly what I need. You've helped me a great deal by bringing this note to my attention. I wonder if you could do me another favor. Uh, it depends. What do you want from me? I need you to investigate the city, talk to my people, help them, if it'll win their trust. You can even go through their possessions, if you have to. You must work out who is going to break the Dwarves' law. Once you have a name, come back and tell me immediately. As Jarl, I authorize you to go anywhere you... Uh-oh. What the fuck just happened? What? What do you mean? What do you- what? What do you mean? Uh, 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 I don't know what happened. Toronto, what the fuck happened? <laughs> okay. I feel like that was the whole thing that I should reload. I don't know. I'm gonna save it real quick. I'm actually gonna go back to Googling that because I don't think that was supposed to happen. Be a great deal. I need you to investigate them. You must work out who is going to break. As Yarl, I authorize you to go anywhere you need to go, including private homes. But if someone asks you to leave, you should do so immediately. Okay, so I re- No! Serana, I swear to fucking God, if you do this again, I'm gonna push you off. <laughs> if I help you, will you get- uh, help me get back to my own time and out of the city? I can't promise either of those things, but I will certainly do everything within my power to help you once you've helped my people. And of course, if you decide to stay, I would make sure you enjoy a comfortable life here. Now, what do you say? Will you help me? Yes, I will help you because killing you has skipped the entire quest and it is a long one. So thank you. Now, you mustn't tell anybody where you're from or what may be about to happen here. People do foolish things when they panic. If it helps you, you're welcome to borrow the book on my desk. It contains the names and addresses of my subjects. Just don't show it to anyone. Goodbye for now, and good luck. I don't need to tell you what will happen if you fail. Okay, immediately go back inside, please, before you fall off. Okay, Jesus Christ. Okay, so I did reload. It is a long quest. Which looks incredible. So. Uh, he said there's a book on his desk of everyone's citizen arrival log. Oh, okay. Okay, so why can't I pick up this book? I can't take it, but it's got a list of everyone here. Okay, well, I'm going to call it there. This has been quite the fucking journey. 
surprisingly. Oh, all these books aren't ruined now. Interesting. What the hell is that? Torch bug in a jar? I'm not gonna steal that. But, yeah, holy crap, we have such... We uncovered just a huge quest line, which I was not expecting. But we're going to dive in deep next time. We're going to start talking to all these people. We're going to find out who is in the wrong. And I'll see you in the next one.